We have made it to the world's number one airport. What's up, P-Nation? Today is a very exciting travel day. We have not been on a plane since we came to Asia for this long. It's about to get crazy. Today is also a sad day because Today is the day that we leave Asia. Uh, this could definitely be our favorite continent. We really loved it here. <laughs> we're very sad, but we're also excited to move on because our next destination is, drum roll, <laughs> Greece. <laughs> we are going to the country I've always wanted to go to, but no one would ever take me. And so Zach finally agreed to let me plan a trip to Greece. First we gotta catch our grab, and then we'll be at the airport. Okay, we just made it to this airport. It is so nice in here. I think it's only two years old. We checked in, but it's really weird. You have to pay a terminal fee here of $12, which doesn't sound like that much, but... No, it's more than that. It's like $17 per person. We were doing some thinking, and normally the tax is just included, and it's actually a lot more than the tax here. So yeah. it might not be that bad. I just wish we knew. Right. I don't know. Just a surprise. Yeah. We made it through security, now we gotta find this lounge. We originally had like three hours to do this, but due to all the lines and crazy stuff happening, we have like 20 minutes, so all you can eat buffet, here we go. Okay, I'll show you other lounges later, but I got watermelon, pineapple, oranges, soup, vegetables, pork, and sandwiches to dip in the soup. It is gonna be so good. Ooh, we had a lot of food. This, I think this lounge has the most meat we've ever seen, <laughs> ever. So. It was my favorite lounge, for sure. We spent my meat eater. Zach didn't love it so much, but it's fine. And, that, and now we're about to get on our flight with Scoot Airlines, which is we're brand new. We've never flown them before, so it's gonna be exciting to see that. Yeah. But we are sad to leave the Philippines because yeah. we heard so many things about this place, and I feel like two weeks was not enough. No, 12 days to be exact. <laughs> not enough time, so we'll have to be back. Is it backwards? I don't know if it's backwards. Can you guys see this? Why is the New York Times in the Philippines? Because it's international. Ready for flight number one of two. Philippines, it's been amazing. <laughs> Thank you for existing. And this is definitely not our last time. No. Just like that, four hours later, we have made it to the world's number one airport. We've been excited about Singapore ever since it's been on the map. We just, it's kind of too expensive. So when we saw that we could have a short layover here, we definitely jumped at the chance to do that. So being in the world's number one airport, we are going to check out this whole place as much as we can. Apparently they have a free movie theater. They have a swimming pool. Sorry, I was interrupted. We're <laughs> Apparently not supposed to be filming, so, but like I said, free movie theater, we have the pool, we're gonna go to the Jewel, which just opened a month ago. It's a $1.3 billion dollar development. There's a huge, the world's largest indoor waterfall. This airport is gonna be amazing. Yeah, so what we're trying to say is we're really crazy excited, this airport's amazing, and we're gonna have so much fun. And we come to our first weird thing. All these kids are coloring in airport. I've never seen anything like this. I just saw a Tiffany and Co. in the airport. Never seen that before. Also, Balenciaga has its own store. 
I am so confused right now. How, are, how is this mall? In an airport. This is like the third garden we passed inside this airport terminal. It's kind of nice. But first things first, we need to go to the lounge. They have not one, but two espresso machines. And better yet, free wine, chicken and rice, creamy pasta, stir fried veggies, curry and rice, mm, mashed potatoes and something, beef bolognese. This is might be the best meal I've had in like two weeks. Sorry, Philippines, but Singapore has got your beef. Okay, the lounge was fun. We were in there for about an hour, and now we're going to store our bags before we go into the city of Singapore. We have a five hours to do so. Hey. Yes, hi. We just checked our bags, got outside of the airport, and now we're gonna take you guys to the Jewel, which is the crowning achievement of this number one rated airport. <laughs> what I love is that like, I have no idea what this Jewel is. Zach has been talking about it all day Jewel. long. I know, I'm like thinking like Jewel, like J-U-U-L. <laughs> we're like, we're gonna go see the Jewel. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> like this thing inside the airport that you like go look at and it's really cool. But now it's I'm... not. It's a park that was built for citizens of Singapore to come to the airport and enjoy the surroundings. I'm so confused. I had no idea. It's a huge building. We are in the future. Feels like a tropical oasis in here. It smells amazing. <laughs> it smells really good. I don't know what to, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> indoor waterfall. I'm just gonna be really sad to leave Asia. One, because it's amazing, but two, because their malls are really, really cool. <laughs> like who has the largest indoor waterfall inside a mall? I don't know, Asian malls, that's who. So supposedly there are four different trails that take around 30 minutes to walk through. Of course, if you have your luggage, that'd be a little bit more difficult. But it's just basically a vertical park with trees just staggered with each other. And you just walk through it on all these different levels. See, like, here's one of the trails. So you start at the top, and then you walk down all the way to the bottom. There's a little forest waiting for you at the bottom. You walk through, and then you're in the mall. And like Leah said, this is in fact a mall. Around the entire circle that we were just in are shops and restaurants. You can like eat at the restaurants and watch the trees light up as you're like having your amazing meal in Singapore. <laughs> okay, these might look like little puffy pieces of metal. However, they are clouds with rain and the rain is the crystals. How clever. And we made it to the top and they have a beer garden. People are just hanging out. It's nice and air conditioned in here. You can hear the waterfall. Like Leah said, the harps are playing. It's super peaceful. Um, the burger craze has officially hit Singapore. 
Shake Shack's line back here is at a hour wait, and you can only buy five burgers per transaction, so. Oh. It keeps going. It keeps going. Okay, we have seen that, we saw the IMAX, we saw the mall, and now we gotta get back to our other lounge. But before we do that, we're gonna head into the city. So I'm gonna start in a clip here. You should watch the other video about us spending four hours in Singapore. <laughs> Last time you guys saw us, we were at the Jewel, and now we are back at the airport after spending some time in Singapore. Yes, we saw the trees, we saw the light shows, we did all the things you could possibly do in three hours in Singapore. And now we're back at the airport, trying to pick up our bags, go get to the a shower, lounge, get a shower, get on this plane. That takes 12 to 13 hours. Yeah, I don't know, it's like 11 or something. I don't know, two acids. Whoa, this is crazy. They have a PS3 station, an Xbox station, oh my gosh. All the games you could ever want to play. A movie theater. Name another airport that has a sunflower garden. Uh, sorry it's dark outside, but what? They're so happy. And now since we've already had a very full day, we're going to the best lounge for our research. Apparently it has yes. a full gym. What? And you can take naps. There's like a napping room and a massage and food and a shower. I'm so excited. Ooh, and now we are all showered. If you would have told me a year ago or any time in my life that I'd be taking a flight from Asia to Greece and showering at I don't know, 11 o'clock at night in Singapore, I would have told you you're crazy. One, because I'm not going to travel like that. And two, because there are no showers in airports. <laughs> All right, so that lounge thing was magnificent. We showered, we ate more food somehow. And we got a little bit of rest before our 11 to 12-ish hour flight from Singapore to Athens. Okay, now I see why Singapore Airport is the number one airport in the world. It's kind of only because they don't have like any domestic flights. But anyways, they have an awesome airport. You should definitely come here if you have a layover. Because we had a layover, we had a choice between Kuala Lumpur, which we love Malaysia, but we came to Singapore instead. So we have a possibility of going into the city, which we did, it was amazing. Yes. So tired. All that. Just like that, it's a wrap. Thanks, Asia. It's been an amazing three months. It's been amazing. It really has. We've made so many memories. But we're excited to see what Europe has for us. And we made it to Greece. We just got yeah. off the plane. How was the flight? It was the most comfortable 12 hours I think I've ever had on a plane ever. We were on a Dreamliner, the Boeing Dreamliner, which is amazing. It was like really sunny outside and they yeah. had this blue shade on the window that just, it's so easy to sleep. And I'm pretty sure I slept for like eight hours. <laughs> I'm awake and we're ready for this day. We're ready for this day. Yeah. Athens is gonna be amazing. Europe already feels so different from what the Asian countries feel like. Yeah, well also I just think vibes. in our minds we know it's gonna be a lot different too. So we're like, I don't know. It's Look gonna out. be, it's gonna be a culture shock, but it's gonna be great. And I just, I cannot believe we're here in Greece. Okay, dancing beat. At the front desk, she was like, I couldn't understand a word she was saying because she's only speaking Greek. But she was like telling me, like, keep my purse next to me. She's like, on the train now, when you're walking, I could tell what she was saying, but I couldn't what? understand. And she was like, make sure it's really close to you. Like, While we're talking about that, let's talk about this door that is like a bank safe door. We have all Dang. these little notches. Look on this side. We have three locks up here. We have three Whoa. locks right here, and we have three locks down oh there. <laughs> no one is going to be able to penetrate this safe door. Is getting in or getting out? <laughs> 
So thank you for watching this crazy video about the Singapore airport and then the longest flight we've taken in a long time and getting to Greece and all this crazy stuff. It was journey was crazy. It was a fun and long and tiring day, but we made it. Hi everyone, I'm your best friend back in town again. I saw it on the map, Singapore Airlines. Oh, you can't see me. <laughs>